Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Techies. This video, let's talk about Toast notification in React.js. So here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. For doing this implementation, I'm going to use this package React Toastify. So let me copy this command. I'm going to install the particular package in my application. So this is the first step. The next we have to import this toast and a toast container from this react toastify library okay it looks like the installation gets completed now we can import the libraries and here we can use this toast and the next one is toast container And the next we have to import on CSS file react toastify.css react toastify dist okay we have done and the next thing is we have to use this toast container directly in our application Okay, we have done the configuration side. Next, implementing this toast alert, I'm going to have one button. Next, let me include this on click event. Let me define this function also. So here we can use this toast option. Now let me run this application. So if you are using this lowest version, we may include like toast.configure. So inside the configure, we can include uh, some properties for the global configuration. For the latest version, we have this directive. So whatever features we supposed to include in this global manner, so we have to include everything inside this directive okay so that a little later so first let me verify my basic notification is working or not okay our button is ready okay see now our basic notification is coming it is working fine right and in this toast notification we have five types of notification the first one is info then success warning error and the final one is default the default already we have added so what I'm going to do let me include five more types okay so the first one I'm going to provide as the info and the second one I'm going to provide success and the third one is warning and the final one is error so let me save this one now we are able to see the five types of notifications right so the first one is default then info then success warning and the final one is error notification so we can move on to the next property the next property is position so totally we have the six positions the first one is top left then top center and the top right the similar way we have the bottoms bottom left bottom center and the bottom right okay so let me show you how to include in our application so let me copy all the items so we have to include like this okay here the position so the value is toast that position top left okay see now so currently we have something this left okay so in case the first one I'm going to provide like a top sender
see the only thing is coming in the sender okay so in case if I am providing bottom sender it will comes in this bottom okay okay it is coming in this bottom so this is all about adding this position next one is theme so the default theme is light theme actually we are using so we have two more themes the one is dark and another one is the colored theme okay so what I'm going to do let me copy all the items so instead of top left I'm going to provide top center So now I'm going to change the theme for second section theme. So the value is I'm going to provide dark. Okay. So let me apply for all the notifications. And in a similar way in this left side notification, I'm going to provide the colored theme. Okay okay we have added let me verify this one so you know so the first section is for the theme of colored and the second one is the dark theme and the final one is the our existing light theme okay so we have completed this theme so finally the options so in this options we have four options the one is auto close then this transition then progress and limit okay so that also we can go on by one the first one is auto close okay so the default auto close value is five seconds so if required we can increase also we can decrease at the same time we can disable also okay so let me show you so in this info section I am going to include this auto close the value I am going to provide 10 seconds okay and this success I am going to provide just one second okay finally in this warning I am going to disable this auto close okay so the value let me provide false that is fine so let me check one second see now all the notification is coming success is removed quickly and you have to wait some time see the info taking some additional five seconds and the final one is the warning notification it is not closed okay it will wait so if required we have to close it manually okay so that's what the success is going quickly the reason we provided just one second and this warning is not closed because we provided the value is false okay so this is all about the auto close so next let me take this transition so this transition have four values the first one is bounce then slide zoom and this flip okay so the default value is bounce so let me change this into slide so this transition I'm going to apply in this global manner so let me define here transition and the value is slide okay so we have to import top of that otherwise it will throw the error okay fine so let me refresh this one so if I'm clicking so we are able to see right it is coming in this slide manner so the default value is bounce so if I'm changing this into bounce this just is shaking okay and the next we can use this flip option see so this is all about the flips and the final one is zoom see So these are all the transition properties. Next one is limit. Okay. 
So limit is nothing but how many notifications we are supposed to show in our page. Okay, let me show you. So the limit I am going to provide just two. Okay, so currently we are able to see like a 15 notification. It's showing, right? So if I am clicking this one, see, we are able to see the only two. The first two only we are able to see. Okay. So even though if I am commented the first two five, so next it will take the next two. So because we have provided the limit is just five. In case if I am provided eight, so then we are able to see this eight. The first two five and the next three. So even the first one is closed, then automatically the next things are opened. Okay. This is all about the limit and then this progress. Okay. So in this progress, so we have a lot of things. So the progress class name, style, and draggable percentage, hide progress bar. So these all the properties was there. So if I'm going to hide this one, I have to provide the value is true. Okay. See now, so there is no progress value. So let me change the limit also. See now, there is the plain notification and there is no progress per value. So even though you have to see our notification is closing within the five seconds. So these two are we have manually defined some options. Okay. So let me remove this auto close value. And this one also like we can provide like a 20 seconds. So see, so it will be wait up to the 20 seconds. Once the 20 seconds is completed, so all of our notifications will be closed at the same time. Okay. See, everything should be closed at the same time. Okay, great. Uh, the, all the options we have completed, uh, we have added individually and also in this global side we have included. So next to this theme, so individual notifications we have included. The same way I am going to do this one also in this global manner. So in this same toast container, I am going to add the properties. I am going to add the properties theme. So the theme is colored. Okay. Now see the two colored items one is for the dark because we have provided the theme is dark for this section and we have provided colored for uh, this section I believe this one and the only one section be not provided anything so it is taking this default configuration value okay. So now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching.